I know it's irrational yeah. and I know it's wrong, but it's me. And it's just something that I have to continue to strive to deal with because that size, as bad as this sounds, that identifies me more than even the scale number. I was going to say, have you just shifted your focus though yes. fr from the scale to this shirt? Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of the different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time our two cats fight off camera, you'll be alerted to I'm it. sitting over here waiting for the slap fight, because Roscoe's sitting over there eating, and Charity decided to walk over and stick her head in, and surprisingly, nobody got slapped. Now, they just both walked away, and fortunately, not across the camera. That was amazing. The other thing that was amazing was the fact that I stayed up until like, oh, four o'clock in the morning re-watching season one of Tiger Kings. I, you know, I'm usually the one who stays up all night and watches television. What I, happened? I was like going to go to sleep. And so now like I kept nodding off. And then at like four o'clock in the morning, I got this need that I need something to drink. So I got up and fortunately our kids hadn't locked the back door for some reason, which is very odd behavior for them actually. Right. And uh, so I locked the door and I come back and I'm like, it's four o'clock. Like, what are you doing? I couldn't look away. And then you realize like you weren't even watching the new season. That's what was crazy because I thought, gosh, I feel like this whole season. Did they make another season just repeating last it's year? It's just repeating. But I didn't, you know, scrutinize it. I just let it happen because, you know, it's been a year since I've watched stuff and I rewatched things. And I thought, well, did I hear that right? Did I remember that? So, yeah, I, I rewatched the first season. And now I guess it's season two tonight. We'll see. You know what else is amazing? I don't know about you, because we haven't discussed this yet, but I have not had a reaction to that turkey. Me neither. I'm, I'm actually down. I just got on the scale. I didn't get on the scale and yet. And again, I don't put faith in one day, because yeah. there's a lot of things like I need to see consistency, but as of right now, the scale was 192.4. Wow. So again, I don't... For me, I need consistency. And right. the only reason, as we said yesterday, the only reason we're getting on the scale is because we're looking for inflammation. But I don't feel puffy. I feel good. I don't have that groggy feeling. And it's very odd that I don't have that feeling from this, from the turkey that we had with the chicken. So, I don't know. You know, we it wasn't eat some... Fancy organic chicken. Good morning, Tabitha. Well, and we didn't eat as much of it as we did that chicken. I really feel like not eating so much lean chicken breast in a sitting, it, you know, yeah. that that's kind of the key. Because, yeah, I was up half the night, more than half the night, but I don't feel bloated. I feel silly for staying up so late, but I feel great. I don't have any inflammation. I don't have any you know, problems in my joints. I have not got on the scale yet, but I don't feel yucky. Yeah. Now, I mean, and again, we're going to readdress chicken again, even though we, no matter what the results are, we're going to eat we're chicken. We're going to eat it. But even yesterday, we did eat a significant amount of chicken, of turkey, turkey. breast. We pretty much ate all of the breast between the two of us. I think there's two slices left. I think so there's a couple slices. It was a small turkey, but still... It, it was enough to fill me up that we just only ate a half a keto chow a piece the rest of the night. I got to tell you, too, I really enjoyed that turkey. 
I don't remember enjoying turkey all the way through as much as I enjoyed it that rotisserie style. Probably the butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was so delicious all the way through. It wasn't dry, which is usually my complaint right. about turkey. Because a lot of times it's like, I really love the skin. Oh, but you have the entire rest of the bird to eat also. Yeah. And I didn't feel like that. It was delicious all the way through. So the last time I really enjoyed turkey was when I deep fried it. There you a go. And skin. Well, you, it's the skin and also when you deep fry a turkey... You are like Having sealing moisture. all of those juices in there. And we just, we don't deep fry turkeys anymore because you're deep frying it in peanut oil. And number one, peanut oil, although it, it's better than many of the other oils, it's still an inflammatory seed oil. Well, and you need a ton of it. And to deep fry a turkey, you have to go buy that big giant jug, which costs you $30. Right. And then you're sitting there going, I got I literally stuff, just right? spent $30 to deep fry my turkey on top of the price of the turkey. Right. So now for the next two weeks, what am I going to fry? And we just don't deep fry foods anymore because... One of the problems with deep frying food for me, especially if you are counting macros, if you are paying attention to the grams of fat or to the calories that you are consuming, um, when you deep fry, there's really no way of knowing how much are you getting. The, the only way to really know, and I am way too lazy to do this, would be to Measure out the amount of oil that you use. So let's say that you put two cups into a pan to deep fry something. Now you cook your foods. Would you have to like measure out how much is left over? Yeah, so you cook all of your yeah. food. Then after you're done, you would now take that food out, take take the oil, strain out all the junk that got left, like the, you know, the breading or any kind of pieces of food that's in there. Strain that out. Weigh out that oil. No, I'm not doing that. And then figure out how much is missing. No. And that amount is now in your food. I am too lazy to do that. So what do I do? Either A, I just don't care. Like when we eat chicken wings right. or eat chicken wings from like Buffalo Wild Wings. Or B, I don't deep fry food. Yeah. I did want to say real quick, but I have to go to work. Anthony and I have two houses to cut. It's winter time, so we don't have as many things, which is good because we have videos that we need to film that we keep putting off and putting off and putting off. It's time. And uh, th tomorrow I have a lacrosse tournament from, I just looked, it's from 8 a.m. I'll be home by 12.30, so tomorrow's going to be brisket day. <gasps> We're gonna, Yay! I'm probably going to start a brisket at like 4 in the morning. That's exciting. And uh, just let that then go the whole time I'm gone. I'll just wake you up to start that 4 a.m. brisket when I finish watching season 2 of Tiger Kings. Yeah. What's on your agenda for this morning while I'm gone? Well, I've got Fearless Friday, laundry, getting myself prepared for the day, um, Quite a few little things. I've got I've got some uh, a couple of errands to run, mm -hmm. and then we'll be back. Coffee, one tablespoon of butter, and it's keto chow, but I can't identify the flavor. Yeah, I, I messed up a little bit. So it is pumpkin spice caramel. Okay, but I didn't think about it until after I pulled. I'm like, oh, fall pumpkin spice sounds good right now. But the coffee is actually the Bones Irish Cream coffee. Okay. So I think the flavors are competing. Thank if you. I would have used that McDonald's coffee, and the, yeah. which if you're looking on the back counter, it says Dunkin' Donuts. I like the container. We've been reusing that container for a year. That is a great container. It just, you know, we had gotten that at like, I don't know, Sam's Club or something. Right. And I just keep refilling it with whatever coffee we buy when we're using grounds instead of beans. And so, yeah, so you've got the Irish Cream Bones coffee competing with the pumpkin it doesn't taste bad it but just tastes like you don't get either vanilla. flavor it to me it just tastes like a really creamy creamy coffee yeah okay time to see how ravenous these chickens are going to be okay guys who wants some turkey here you go they are going to tear that thing apart look at them they're eating a cousin Good morning, Grayson. I didn't forget about you. Do you want a piece of turkey? There you go. Mmm. Is that good? 
You love your turkey. Poor Tabitha's like, where's mine? How come all the chickens got turkey? Here, you want a piece? There you go. No bones. So a little bit of TMI. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's wrong? You don't like my TMI? I'm worried. Well, I was just going to the restroom, and I started thinking we're going to go on a camping trip for five days. Oh, yeah. What are we going to do without our bidet? Somehow managed to see it through. <laughs> Tabitha loves her mommy. Tabitha loves everybody. Anthony and I got done just in time. Right as we finished mowing, it started raining. So he's got to finish blowing off. And probably right about when he's done blowing off, the skies are going to open up. But at least we got it done. So I had to come to Aldi to get some butter for some recipes. I'm also looking for the chayote that Rhonda's talked about to try to make some apple pie recipes. And we can't find any anywhere. But one of the things about coming to Aldi that I always struggle with is that right there. Usually I want to grab nuts, but I know if I get nuts, I'm going to eat the entire package. So it's just something that I have to not keep in the house. It looks like it's almost Thanksgiving, judging by our side dish for tonight. So we have, by the way, this is day 18 of the road back. Wow. Incorporating something. Even though we incorporated turkey yesterday, we did good. Yeah, we feel great. So I feel good. Still no swelling or anything. So our main part of our meal is ground beef with some Redmond's of the, the garlic pepper one. And then I use the bacon ends mm -hmm. from that bacon we made. So that's what I do is I like to cut it up and so you have like chunks of bacon. That is good. It's really good. I mix it in with the ground beef. We use it in chili. You can just like eat it as like candy. Mm-hmm. And then over here, this is an attempt at a stuffing that I used to make, but keto style. I think it's better than an attempt. An attempt seems like you need to circle back around and try again, but this well, let's came go out, ahead and try it. It came out good. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, you haven't? It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nailed it. That is good. Really reminds me of the stuffing you used to make. Mm -hmm. Pre-keto. We always like stuffing with ground beef in it. Which This is ground beef and ground pork. Yeah. So we'll be doing a video on how to make this. Pretty simple. But yeah, that's good. So, so what we're incorporating is bread. So this is, the stuffing has got a little bit of the Maria Emmerich protein bread. But I also use the Fox Hill Kitchen's bread. Okay. So, you know, you can buy rolls or bagels. It's all the same tech mixture, and then they put it into different things. Mm -hmm. And you can also get just, like, the powdered. But you can use any bread you want Any bread. It. But that bread's got, um, I want to say it's got psyllium husk in it. I think it's got some almond flour, some coconut flour in there. So we're seeing how it goes. Mmm. Nice and moist. Very, very meaty. Which which just, I like. It's just more meat. It's funny. Even before keto, I loved a ton of meat in my stuffing. I mean, we would put turkey gravy over top of it. Mm -hmm. But I we ate it as a meal. We yeah. ate it as like a separate entity unto itself. Yeah. So uh, we're going to eat. And then I have a football game. Fortunately, it is across the street. Poor Anthony had to leave already. Yes. For a 7.30 game because... He's got a schlep. He's got a long drive. I'm only across the street. Tomorrow, I have some lacrosse games in the morning. And then I'm done by like 12. And we're going to film a couple of recipe videos. But I'm thinking, we didn't do a whole lot today. So let's we just didn't. make this a two-day vlog. Two days it is. Okay, ma'am. I am yes. leaving. Okay. No Tiger King. I'm not watching me. Tiger King. I am currently finishing a Hallmarky type of love story Christmas movie. So you're good. You're <laughs> avoiding what you don't want to see right now. Look at the cat. Roscoe. Always there. Roscoe. He's like, what do you want? He knows. Uh, this is our comes. universal signal. Or do you want a pet? 
<laughs> do all cats speak sign language like we do? We have like our own little sign language system. Now you can't stop. No, no. This <laughs> I will be back here when you get home. I will be in the same position. There is no end to him being petted. The funny part is if you stop, he'll grab your arm with oh, yeah, his paw and pull it over. Like, whoa, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Okay. Then he'll start licking you. And then you'll get bit. It's like, oh, I love you, but like, seriously, you need to pet me. I just got home from my football game. It was a rainy night. No issues, but we were wet all night. Still kind of hungry, so I'm going to have a roulette keto chow. Let's find out what flavor this is. Chocolate peanut butter with banana. Good morning. It is Saturday, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. Anthony and I are getting ready to head out the door to go work a few lacrosse games. Uh, I have four games, he has five. Should be a pretty quick day. I think my last game is at like 11 o'clock. So I, I'm done at 11.50, I think is when I'm I'm finished. Uh, Rachel is still sleeping and we're just going to let her sleep because she needs her rest. Uh, my plan today was to make a brisket, but I didn't feel like you know, like trimming it out and everything last night. So I'm going to do that today when I get home and then we're going to make brisket tomorrow. We're going we're gonna to try a different method and we're going to cook it overnight. And then wrap it when I get up in the morning. I was talking to Chris. And he said, that's the best thing to do if you're not going to be home to wrap it and stuff. So, uh, because tomorrow I have, you know, a few more games. But again, it's like one of those days where I will be home by like 1230, 1 o'clock. So, if I do the brisket overnight, wrap it in the morning, uh, it would be ready right about when Rachel would get home from work. Which is going to be somewhere around 2.30, 3 o'clock. I'm also going to start off my day with some turkey because I can and because I don't want it to go to waste. Hey, what's up family? It is about 9.30 in the morning and God bless my better half, he made a pot of coffee. So I have to head out to Walmart because we need more chicken food and I'd like to make a tractor supply run, but that's about a two hour investment, which I don't have. So I'm gonna be heading to the one Walmart in town that caters to backyard chickens. I'm gonna pick up some feed and I'm also gonna pick up my mama because she's gonna come along for the ride. So let's get started with some coffee. I'll make her a travel mug too. Okay, so I can't do it pretty and in slow motion like Joe does, but I do have two travel mugs of coffee. Um, between the coffees I've got, cause I do have an appetizer coffee. Cause of course you have to have an appetizer coffee for the road. So between all three of these, I've got two tablespoons of butter and one egg. And you can see how much it both lightens up the coffee and also froths up the coffee. I just throw it all in the Vitamix. Okay, I'm ready to Saturday. What's Saturday? So all electrolyte wannabes are not created equally, especially lemon lime. So look at this liquid IV, which sounds very medicinal, right? $30 for 24 counts. But let's look at the ingredients. Oop, we can stop with the first two. You got pure cane sugar and then dextrose. One stick, 45 calories, 11 total carbohydrates. So you're doing this so that one stick will melt, multiply your hydration. Yeah, right. I found another way to add money to your ribeye budget, and that is stop buying the $24 root touch-up. Just let your hair go gray, and you save $24 probably a month, because I was going through bottles of that stuff. Woot, woot. We found a Ninja Creamy, $169.99 at BJ's. I don't know if they're gonna have a deeper discount as we get closer to the holiday season, but $169.99 for anybody who is shopping for a Ninja Creamy, we found it in BJ's. Oh my gracious, is this adorable for $7, this little set. This is my Christmas movie watching mug. I need one of these and the socks. They have television sets on them. Here is a cute sugar-free advent calendar idea for $12.99, either bath fizzers or facial masks. These both look super fun and contain no sugar. It is 11 o'clock. I have one more game. Fortunately, we've stayed pretty dry. 
When we got here, it was raining. The field is soaking wet, but it's not raining now. As soon as I put my jacket on, it stopped raining. It's kind of like that umbrella thing, you know? If you carry an umbrella, it won't rain, but if you don't have an umbrella, it's guaranteed to rain. Interesting fact though, the field that we're on, this is actually the Washington Nationals um, spring training field. Well, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I am hungrier than Joe is. <laughs> Joe was like, I'm not I, super hungry right now. I don't now. even think I want anything right now except for maybe some bacon. And I'm like, I'm all in for bacon. I uh, I had a couple pieces of turkey breast when I left this morning. Oh, but, okay. Uh, I'm just not super hungry. I'm sure I'll be hungry later on, but we'll eat then. So good morning. Good morning. Or good afternoon. Good evening and good night. <laughs> it is day 19 of the beef butter bacon and egg road back and today is i don't know i, I think we're just going to pretty much keep it simple it's saturday beef, bacon, butter and eggs kind Please. of thing yes well, i mean we're doing a couple of recipe videos yes yeah, so we'll try stuff there but we won't be eating a whole mess of it and i feel like that is a good plan for us since tomorrow is sunday yeah <laughs> why we always like try something and then the next day is a really long day so we're gonna do things differently today yeah so i had uh four i did four lacrosse games today i have five tomorrow we got there the field was underwater because it rained all night long i thought it might do that so the field that we were actually at is the washington nationals park it's their spring training park and it's a really cool facility. So they have the main stadium where the Washington Nationals play all their spring training games. Right. And then they have several other baseball fields that they practice on as well as they rent out for tournaments and teams. And then they have these other fields as well that they use for parking and then they also rent them out. But it's kind of cool just to... It doesn't drain well though. No, it does not drain well. And it's a weird kind of turf. So the water just kind of sits up on top. And then when we got there, it was raining a little bit. Neither one of us had our rain jackets with us. So Anthony had one game and then he had a game off. So I said to him, can you, he was sitting in his car and I'm like, can you bring me my rain jacket? So he brings me the rain jacket out of the car. And of course, then it stops raining. Well, because yes, <laughs> like if you have an umbrella, it doesn't rain. Just keep That's it in I your said. car. That's what I said, yeah. Every time. But overall, it was pretty good. I did little kids today. I did like seven-year-old, eight-year-old. It's not like great lacrosse, but it's not a lot of work either. It's it's midfield, half field kind and of situation. And they're super cute. It's fun to watch them. There's just such a difference between lacrosse and football. You know, the coaches, sometimes they will, in the heat of the moment, say something. But as soon as the game is over, they're like, hey, let's go have a beer. Whereas in football, they'll hold a grudge for two years. Right. The parents are different. I just, I absolutely love the game of lacrosse. I love when you love what you do. I yeah. mean, that is my desire for my children and for my husband. Like, whatever you Hello, want. Charity. Hi, Charity. <laughs> whatever you want to do, like, I want you to do it. But I want you to enjoy it. Yeah. Right? Well, that's why you don't officiate for the money. You officiate because you love the sport, because you love being there for the kids. You know, we've got a couple of new rules coming into lacrosse in the new season. So Good ones? I, um... They're simple. They're trying to, to make everything unified now. So instead of like football, rather football, instead of college having one set of rules and high school having one set of rules and youth having one set of rules, they're trying to make some of the basic things like how they face off the same, which to me is good because yeah. that means that you the kids unlearn it. are getting ready. You know, when you have things like, well, when the little kids are allowed to do this and then the big kids, you know, they do this and then the college kids do this. Every time they move up, they're like, oh, wait, that's not how I've done it for all these years. Now, there's some rules with little kids that they can't do. Like, they can't body check and they can't throw a slash or a, a check with one hand. But those are safety issues more than the game mechanics. Yeah. So, I do enjoy all of that. Well, I'm glad. My mom and I went to Walmart to get chicken feed. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. um, we, uh, and while we were at Walmart... My mom was like, hey, do you want like a Coke Zero? And I was like, sure, because you know they're like 50 cents or some ridiculous amount. Both of us, because she is on kind of a modified beef, butter, bacon, and eggs also. And so we both took like a sip of it. Like she got a Diet Pepsi and I got a Coke Zero and we were both like, Ugh. 
So I just threw it out. And that's an unlike me too. I, I am spent learning. the money, I'm going to do it. Here's the thing. If I don't like it, I don't need to finish it. That's right. And that is whether it is a 50 cent soda or it's a $10, I can't even believe I'm saying this, $10 meal. Yeah. I mean, just if I don't like it, I'm not finishing it. You know so. where else you need to learn that lesson? What? Getting your nails done. If they're hurting you, get up and walk Trust out. Trust me. And we will spend the money somewhere else. I learned that lesson <laughs> very, very well. So um, then we went to BJ's, which isn't crazy yet. Right. So if anybody is interested in like getting some holiday shopping done like now, like go, go right now because BJ's or Costco or Sam's Club on a Saturday when it feels very casual in there, like, I, I mean, I'm impressed because yeah. Publix does not feel like that right now. It's mm -hmm. already kind of crazy. Um, so that was nice. And then we went to the Dollar Tree because the good Dollar Tree is over by there. Because if you know, do you have a good Dollar Tree and then there's another Dollar Tree? There's, they carry different things even. Yeah. Like that's what blows my mind. Yep. Because there's, there's Dollar Trees that I feel like are easier as a parent or teacher or that kind of stuff. They have a lot of craft things. Then you go to another Dollar Tree and it's just like, Nothing, Nothing I need now. is here, which yes. is crazy. I was very glad that I went with an accountability partner in my life. My mom is on the same plan I am as far as like the way we eat. And it was really nice shopping together because we could kind of check one another. So I was in Dollar Tree and we were about to come home and I was very hungry. Like I am leftover hamburger and bacon plus a whole mess of bacon hungry. And so I was reaching for just like a bag of pork rinds. Like I was looking for plain. And so I just went to reach for it. And I saw one, the closest I could get to plain was salt and pepper. And so I was just put in my buggy and my mom goes, no, wait, we are at Dollar Tree and even plain or salt and pepper can have additives is what I've learned. So like flip it over and just make sure it's what you want. She didn't take it and like throw it out of my buggy. She just reminded me, hey, check. Right. Because I know it's a dollar and sometimes to make things go further, they have additives. Yeah. They add stuff to everything. I mean, just like you said the other day. And, and again, I needed some more chicken broth yesterday. I was at Publix. And most of the chicken broths have cane sugar. Why are we putting cane sugar in a chicken broth? Do we need to make our broth sweet? So, and that's what happened. So yeah. I flipped it over and the salt and pepper dollar bag of pork rinds that I thought it can't be that bad. It had all kinds of stuff. It even had like, like different kinds of flour in it, potato starch. Yeah. And I thought, why would they put that in a, you know, in a pork rind? And you know what my mom said? Because they can. That's right. And I thought, wow, that'll preach. Well, we are going to eat before your food gets cold. I'm going to enjoy the bacon. Good job on the bacon, Thank by the you. way. And then we have to film a couple of recipe videos. Why are you so excited? Because we got the funnest mail today. Like, just the absolute funnest mail ever. So, first of all, we got this. Where did you get this? Uh, Wawa. They were buy one, get one free. So... I mean, they're not the cleanest ingredients in the world, but it's not too bad. The entire thing is three total carbs, but it's a great thing for on the go. I had a coupon and they were buy one, get one free. So I paid a dollar for two of them. Oh, okay. Cause it was like in an envelope. So I thought it came in the mail. No. <laughs> okay. So that's awesome. Well, this actually came in the mail because I brought it inside. I got my personal Scentsy order. And then I got like the funnest gift from our Scentsy director who is in our Facebook family. Lori Henson, she's amazing. She's just super, super fun. So do you want to see what Lori sent me first or do you want to see what I ordered first? Well, the order is just a bi-monthly order for flavors. These that, are my favorite flavors. Yeah, you're afraid that they're going to sell out. So so long as you have them in there, you will always get them regardless of if they stop making them. So we talk about this all the time. I feel like lemons and citrus smells, maybe it's a Florida girl thing or something, but that smells clean to me. Yeah. So I always like cocoa lime, lemon sorbet is my jam. And Joe's too, P.S. That's my favorite. We also like this in our car. This smells really, really good. Coconut lemongrass, cause I'm all about the coconut. We also like candy crepe. Usually I- It smells I, like cotton candy. It does. It's got kind of a um, really good body soap smell to it too. And I just like that smell. And then I really like the true love. Disney princesses because I'm basically four years old. 
And then um, this is Joe's favorite. Speaking of four year olds, oh boy, because it's it's kind of like a orange yeah. citrusy type of smell. We so. just get those. We get one of the each one of those every other month. So we never run out of it. So you never run out. And then you know that if they stop making those flavors, we still get them. Right, exactly. So, and, and I love all of those flavors. And we've always got Scentsy going on all the time in this house. So she sent me this cute mug, first of all. And it's glass. I cannot wait to drink out of this because it makes stuff super, super cold. Then she sent me some really fun, like, hair bands. And um, the their lip gloss not lip gloss but like moisturizer bomb. like their balm is is the bomb like it's really really good a pin a nail file look at this fun button like this is very inconspicuous right like i could just wear this out it'd be completely fine no super fun um and then you're gonna love this are you ready for this she sent us christmas shirts so if they're couple shirts so at first this didn't make sense to me Cause I was like, oh, okay, this is the one for me, but why does it say chest? Then when you open up Joe's shirt, his says nuts. <laughs> so chestnuts, get it? But like, oh my gosh, this made me crack up so hard. So thanks so much, Lori. We love you. You pulled the tag out of my shirt. I threw that in the garbage. I know, but I Did need- you fish through the garbage? I need to make a point. Well, it was on top of the garbage. I need to make a point. I need, the tag in my shirt. I know it annoys Why? you that there's a it's tag like in your shirt. It's hanging out. It doesn't bother me. But here's the thing. I need to, to have the tag in the shirt so that I know which shirts are mine. How do you not know what shirt's yours? Okay, well, okay, so this one, yes. I know this is my, although you have a bone shirt too. I do, but it's different. Okay, there are other shirts that we all have the same shirt, like our coastal shirt, yeah, or our Fourth of July shirt. Well, if the and shirt I need to fits, know, wear it. That's my point. See, some of the shirts are mine. First of all, some of the shirts end up in Caleb and Anthony's closet, even though they're mine, and then the vice versa. But more importantly, I need to know which shirts are my fat shirts, and I. <laughs> I know that this is screwed up, but I'm screwed up in the head when it comes to food and clothing. Do you have your fat clothing? I mean, I have these shirts that like, I'm fat and I can't wear that. And so I grab those and I look at the tag. Oh, nope, can't wear that one. See, most people take the tag out if they have a clothing relationship issue, which I think you do. I think we need to take our like, you know, our investigation to the laundry basket as far as like our relationship with clothing. But most people take it out because they're like, I don't want to face the size. I would take that out when I was in like a 24 because I'm like, I don't want to see the size. But you want to see the size? I want to see the size because, okay, I have two size shirts. I have mediums and I have larges. I will not own an extra large. If I have an extra large, I want to throw it out. Even if it looks good. Even if it looks good because I, the size, yeah. right? The size thing. But if I put on a shirt that I think is a large and it is too tight, that's going to mess with me and go, okay, so now not only is the scale lying to you, your clothes are lying to you and you're really, really, really fat. <sighs> so I like to know that, okay, these are the shirts that I can go to. And now that I'm in mediums, I, I, I like the fact that I'm in mediums, but if I put on that medium, it makes me feel really good. So I like looking at, ooh, you're you're doing better, Joe. You're wearing a medium. Wow. I messed up. Wow. I know I messed up. I don't I don't think you're messed up. I just think that like we need to deal with it because I think you've wrapped your mind around the pants issue. The understanding that different pants wear are like have different you have not okay because no. i'm like i could wear a zero or i could wear an eight you're like, much better than me pants are different i could have a pair of pants that look the best in the world if it's over a 34 there is no way i'm wearing those pants. i think i'm I... just not because i spent so long in those higher sizes wow that would make me think i'm going backwards i'm sorry because i i finally have gotten to the point and it's not like i haven't dealt with all my hang-ups but I feel like I have gotten to the point where even on a, on a rack when I'm looking at shirts and I'm in my size, I will actually pick it up and be like, you lion, you are not a small, you, like you're you either, so much better than I either am. you are a child's size 
or you are trying to make me feel better by giving me a small, but it's really like an extra large. Even watching the video of you trying on your thrift store haul the other day, and you're like, well, this is a size four, and this is a size so six. And I was watching that as I was editing and going, I see I couldn't do that. You'd be like, I'm I, not I, even I, trying I, this I, dress. I, yeah, I wouldn't have even, if I was you, yeah. this is going to sound really bad, but if I was, I would have never even tried on something. I would have been in the store going, wow, this looks really good, up size six, no way am I buying that because I don't, you know, but that's, I know it's irrational yeah. and I know it's wrong, but it's me and it's just something that I have to continue to strive to deal with because that size as bad as this sounds, that identifies me more than even the scale number. I was going to say, have you just shifted your focus though yes. fr from the scale to this shirt? Yeah. So you're still like, you're kind of like backdooring in run around the rules. Mm. Like if I'm not supposed to focus on the scale, okay, I, I, I won't, but I'm going to find another way. Well, because the clothes don't adjust as much as that scale. Does that make sense? So yeah. whereas the scale can go up and down five pounds in a day, my clothes aren't going to. Right. So if I have clothes that I know this, I can judge myself by those clothes. So if I know that this pair of 32 pants fits me, when it doesn't fit me anymore, we have an issue. If, it, if it's too big, okay, I'm going down. But if I have 32s and then you go out and you buy me a 36 and go, hey, try this on and it doesn't fit me, that's like the scale telling me I just gained 15 pounds. Even if it was cut too small. Why? Because it's not the number that I'm used to wearing. Okay. All right. I, I want to say like, wow, I don't know if that's good or not. But at the same time, I feel like that's a healthier gauge because at least you're in a ballpark instead of it being like a ticky tack, right. like every single moment could be like, because you could weigh five different times a day easily. I've done that where you've weighed like all throughout the day, but you like, you put your shirt on and like, okay, things feel good. Yep. Move on. I mean, it's like you, you didn't lose any actual pounds during beef, butter, bacon, and egg. And but that could, was, you were going to quit. You were like, I, I didn't even lose any weight until you saw the pictures and be like, right. oh, I lost size. It's the same kind of thing. Well, and I felt encouraged when I tried on jeans that I hadn't worn. Yeah. Well, good morning. Good morning. Uh, today is day 20 of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. However, this is actually the end of day 18 and 19 vlog because last night after uh, we did that little bit... Um, we just decided to let's turn off the camera, let's relax, let's just hang out with each other. We, you did the premiere, and uh, we didn't do anything else. I didn't even eat anything else yesterday. I really didn't eat. I ate that uh, couple that slice of turkey, which was about that big in the morning for breakfast, and then I had the bacon you made. And after that, I just wasn't hungry. So I said, you know what? If I'm not hungry today, I'm not going to eat. I think that this is a major non-skill victory that we are in the midst of because same way for me, I had that big heaping plate of bacon and hamburger. I felt like I was hungry. Like I was, I was very hungry. I dealt with that hunger by eating food I knew was going to be like hearty and fill me up. And then, yeah, I, I was done for the day. So I really felt a victory that I could listen to myself. Cause again, it's like myself, it's like that friend that you're not sure you can trust anymore. Like that your friend has said, you're so, I'm sorry, I betrayed you in the past, but like, let me back into your life. Let me, you know, be counsel to you and, and I won't like steer you wrong. And I, I've been very hesitant to listen to any hunger pains coming from myself because I don't trust it. Yeah. But yesterday it was right on. Like I was hungry. I ate. I was done for the day. And mm -hmm. I feel very, I don't know, victorious about that. Yeah. So we are drinking a cup of coffee. We each have one tablespoon of butter and then we have a, and one egg split between the two of us. I have to get in the shower. Oh, coffee and that, that's, 
I, you've got a smaller cup than I do. I love what you're doing. So that we have, but now you feel like you're drinking two cups of coffee. Well, and I get to use my Mr. Chris <laughs> coffee mug, which usually doesn't get as used as much because it's not as big yeah. as all the other coffee mugs. So I have to get in the shower uh, and get out for some games. I have about a 45 minute ride up to the games and then come home. For dinner, I think we're going to do wings and possibly flank steak. I've got some wings. Again, what? emptying out the freezer, I found some I wings that we this. had bought prior to beef, butter, bacon, and egg. They're from Whole Foods where they come when they have that Cajun seasoning on them. Yeah. And it's actually pretty quality ingredients. They're not using a bunch of bad oils and stuff like that. Well, I'm excited. So I'm thinking some of those... As well as uh, maybe a flank steak, a, a quick cooking steak since I'm going to be home and you're going to be at church and stuff. And then tonight, I am absolutely going to prepare that brisket so we can have brisket tomorrow. Brisket. Monday is going to be Monday delicious. will be a brisket day. Uh, but So that's my plan for today. I know you're going to church and I'm thinking like we're going to take a, a, a vlog day off. And just wow. when we get home from, from church and from our games... We're going to spend the afternoon together. I love What's that. the point in in like having our Sunday afternoon where we don't have to film keto on the couch and edit keto on the couch and all that if we're not going to do anything with that extra time? So instead of vlogging, we're going to spend the day together and we're going to wow. pick our vlogs back up tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I just got like so excited. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Date afternoon. I love this. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.